Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you are returning. Today is day 25 of the 25 days of December. Yay! We made it. We made it through all 25 days. I don't know about you, but I'm proud of me. Like I am proud of me. This was definitely a challenge. But we made it and I'm so, 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 so excited for every single one of you that joined me on this journey. So day 25 means that it is Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrates. If you do not celebrate, I hope you're still having an absolutely amazing day. Today is going to be a day of relaxation for me and I am 100% here for it. So in today's video, day 25, I just wanted to wrap up everything. I'm going to do my spread for the week and that's going to be that. Oh, nope. Just kidding. I have a couple other things that I need to get done, but I want you to take a moment, grab your planner, grab a drink or some snacks, and let's get planning. Okay, so I am going to be, of course, using my bullet journal. This is the spread that I created for this week. And this will be my last week in this journal because I will be moving to my new journal in January. I am using this beautiful kit from Sweet Kawaii. I think it's called like Candy Cane Wishes or something like that. I just purchased some of it on $2 Tuesday. So this is what I picked up. I'm so, Oh yeah, Candy Cane Wishes, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. I'm super sad because I did not leave a space for this. So I'll have to use this next year. And then I did get the large deco. And I'm totally wishing I would have gotten more of this. But of course, now I'm on my low no spend. So I'm not going to. All right, so for washi, I have a large space down here. So I am going to put some down at the bottom. Again, I really hope that everyone is doing well. I'm so excited to be able to use this kit. I have so many more kits that I did not get to, but that is okay because I will need them for next year. My goal next year is just to use what I have as much as possible. That's not to say that I'm never going to buy anything because as you know, I do PR for the right place right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, you know, be invited to extend my term, which I did find out thanks to Sailorette plans that it does not end until the end. Oh man. Okay, I don't wanna cut this off. It does not end until the end of January. So I have at least until then, um, like I said, I'm not sure if my term is going to be extended, but if it is, then obviously I am going to, you know, purchase some things to support her shop. And then to also have, my dryer, my dryer is rude. It buzzed now, which means it's going to buzz again. I apologize for that. I even turned it off thinking that that would stop the timer. Apparently, it does not. <laughs> ah, you know, why not? Why not have a rude dryer for the last day? But um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to, you know, obviously be purchasing some things in support of her shop. So, but my goal is to A, not buy as many things. B, go back to making my own stickers because I can, <laughs> I just don't. Um, and then, you know, for the, you go back to making my own stickers for the things that like I need, uh, especially when it comes down to like scripts and icons and things like that, like I can totally totally do that. I think it's giving a buzz again. So, um, yeah, so 
That's the plan. We shall see. But I really, really, really have... <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> I really, really do have some big savings goals that I would like to accomplish this year. So, you know, that's the reason for the low to no spend. I think I like that better that way. Yeah. So that's that's kind of the motivation behind that. I have some goals that I would like to reach and I am I'm not going to reach those if I continue to spend all extra money on planners and stickers. So if anything has to be cut, this this is what I am choosing to cut. Oh, these days of the week obviously came from Orange Umbrella Co., as you can see. And then my numbers are leftover uh, Sweet Kawhi numbers. So it is always nice to save these little numbers. I really want to kind of put them all. I started putting them in one of my reusable sticker albums. But sometimes the sticker sheets are kind of hard to like. They don't really stick to the reusable albums very well. The Sweet Kawhi ones do because I guess because of the vinyl. But like some of these other sticker sheets, they don't stick to the reusable sticker albums very well. So, I don't know. I tried. But sometimes it doesn't work out. But yeah, anyway, keeping these date stickers or number stickers is like really great. So then you don't have to keep pulling out new sets every single time. You go to date an undated planner. Or if you have a planner, you just want to switch some dates up. Now, it does run into a little bit of a pinch. Like right now, if the week starts on the 8th, this these numbers are not any use to me. But, but hopefully, I have another number in the same style that has an 8 on it. But if not, I always have extra numbers. And I just won't use it for that week. It's pretty much pretty much how that goes. But yeah, if anybody has a good storage tip for like leftover kit fonts and numbers and things like that, definitely leave that in the comment below. All right, so obviously I did not have a game plan in mind when I set up this planner because I was just drawing lines. So I think I'm gonna do it like this, which means some of these will go at the top of the box. And some of these will have to go at the bottom of the box. Yes, I like that. But Kelly, oh, that reminds me. Kelly over uh, at Plan with Kelly. She always draws these super cute drop shadows and now I kind of want to do that. Let's see what this color looks like. I'm digging it. I love that for me. Oops. This page on this little crease is so hard. And apparently I did not delete my pencil lines, but life goes on. Whoa, that's crooked. <laughs> it must be bumpy right there. I feel like I should use a pencil board for this. Oh, you guys, guess what I did today? Oh my gosh. Well, yes. Well, anyway, I created my very first reading journal and I'm so excited to share that with you. I don't know if I'm going to do like a flip through on that is that's terrible. I should have left that alone. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a video 
uh, on YouTube or if I'm going to just do something on like Instagram. I was going to say Instagram. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I'm like, I've been trying to get back into consistently reading. And so I try to read, you know, at nighttime before I go to bed, even if it's just like one chapter a night. I'm trying. I love this. I hate this and this, but I love. <laughs> I love the way this is turning out. All right. Friday. Uh, we can put this one at the top because we have room. Saturday. Sunday. And then I think I'm going to just make this a to do section. up a bunch of that box space all right I know I have some I don't know why I sit does anybody else sit with their legs crossed in their chair <laughs> like you know you teach preschool kindergarten when you sit with your legs crossed in every chair that you sit in okay let's try which color I have like I don't know why this Tuesday it's being difficult let's see whoa way too bright I kind of had a feeling but I was like eh, I'll check anyway uh this color I can stand behind let's check this one mm, nope okay I love having this toolbox. If you missed the setup of that, you should definitely go check out that video. I don't remember which day it was, but it was in this 25 days. Yeah, love that. Okay, so then I have my base set. So the only other thing I want to do is there any room for deco? Uh, I can cover up this wacky line. Yes, I can. <laughs> and I can cover up this wacky line <laughs> look how that got fixed <laughs> i have to put poe on here because poe's my favorite so let's put poe we'll put him here yeah poe is my favorite and he's drinking what looks to me like a white chocolate peppermint mocha which is my jam all right and then why not put a little lollipop there? I don't really have much going on because your girl is on winter break. So, <laughs> so for this particular spread, I can afford to get deco heavy. How about a cookie? Cookie sounds fun. And then... Uh, okay, because Simon is my other favorite. Let's put Simon down here at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I love that. Ah! Cuteness overload! 
All right, and then, okay, stop, Brandy, stop. <laughs> okay, because, yeah, like I said, I can totally save the rest of this for later, especially these boxes. Like, the next time I do this spread, I'll try to remember to put some full box space. All right, and then I pulled this. This is from an old Happy Planner book. And my stomach is growling. Monday is Chris Crimmel. Monday is Crimmel. So, oops, put that there. Oh, cuteness. That's it. That is it. That is it. Okay. All right. So we have our weekly plan done. Now, what I wanted to do was show you what I found in my stash at school. So apparently, I think I took, no, I remember. I bought this. I don't remember when, but from Happy Planner. And I took it to school because I thought it'd be really, really cool to open up with my kids. Guess who forgot to open it? Your girl. So we're going to do it now. I do kind of wish I would have opened it with my, remember to open it with my kids, but that's okay. Better late than never. And I will put these stickers in my stash for next year. Okay, next I want to open day 25 of the 25 days of December. Or no, day 25 of the Hubman and Chubb Girl Advent <laughs> box. And it looks like a journal. And it's so cute. So this would be cool to set up like a Christmas. Maybe I'll do like a Christmas planner for next year. I don't really do anything for Christmas though. But maybe next year I will. That'll be my goal. Next year, do something fun. <laughs> or, ooh, maybe I could use this one to plan my social media, like my 25 Days of December things. That might be kind of cool. So anyway, it is a dot grid bullet journal. It's 160 dot grid pages at 115 GSM cream paper. It says it has a lay flat binding, which I'm sure you can train the cover. Two bookmark ribbons, a back pocket, and then the vegan leather color cover. And here you put your name. So yeah, the, the paper is really creamy. I like this. I'm normally like a bright white paper kind of person, but I do like this. So yeah, it does lay flat. You kind of got to, you know, wiggle it a little bit, but it does lay flat. And it comes with two of the ribbon bookmarks and then the pocket in the back. And you have your pin loop and the cover is really soft. Like their covers are always really, really soft and nice feeling. And then of course the elastic band so that is cute all right you guys and last but not least i am going to announce the giveaway winner i did this out of order this announcement was supposed to be made on the 23rd and i was supposed to be doing the daily duo planner on today on today i hate that today <laughs> but i got the dates mixed up so it doesn't matter the people that put their names in for the budget planner that's whose names I have here. The people who put their names in for the Daily Duo Planner, that's whose names I had in there. So I did not mix up the names. I just mixed up the when I was going to announce the winner date. That's okay. So anyway, for this budget planner, it is going to... And congratulations to my previous winners. Both of them have already reached out to me and both of their... Uh, 
planners have already been mailed and one of them received her planner today. So that's awesome. It's good to know that the mail is still going quickly. Um, but let's see who wins this one. And I'm going to laugh if it's the same person again. <laughs> and oh my gosh. <laughs> Heather Goodwin, <laughs> you win again. I wish I would have known because I could have put both your planners in the same box. So Heather, you win the budget planner as well. That is so funny. Thank you so much for being a very faithful subscriber and always leaving your comments below. I appreciate your support. And yeah, reach out to me again so I can get this planner sent out to you as soon as possible. And hopefully it'll get to you before January 1st so that you can get started at the first of the year. So congratulations. Thank you to everyone else that did participate in the giveaway. And thank you to everyone that has made it through to day 25. So whether you started at day 10, day 19, I just appreciate you for being here for you know, all 25 days or however many days you've been here. I appreciate you. If you have not already done so, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. The next video will be coming to you on the 27th. I said I was going to take a break. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe in January. But the next video will be coming to you in on the 27th. I'm part of a loop group. So I hope that you stay tuned for that. And make sure that you follow the loop. But you'll get more information about that in that video. Thank you guys again. Merry Christmas to you all. Happy New Year. Many, many blessings to you and all of your loved ones. Don't forget in this season, if you need anyone to talk to, I am always here. Just reach out to me on Instagram and I will be more than happy to just listen. That's it. Just listen. Be safe, especially now. <laughs> be kind, kinder than you've ever been and be well. I'll catch you in the next one.